Darren and I set off at first light, and this time the plan was to live bait for big snaps. Last night we caught some nice fish on bait, but today was all about live baiting for big reds. We caught our jack packs in no time, and within 10 minutes we headed off to spot X. Reaching our spot, the sun was just rising over the brett, and there was already a few boats about. Darren's just hooked up to our first uh, snapper for the morning. We're just uh, live baiting actually. Yep, yellowtail caught this morning. First fish. Darren's first fish wasn't a big one, but at least we were on the board. Throughout the morning we hooked up on each livey and here's Darren with a bit of fish. panicking like anything. Bit of panic on the old rod. Head shakes. How I like to bait my fresh mac is thread it through the tail, right through, halfway up the body and put the hook back through and out the back of the wing. We knew when our liveys were about to be hit as the tip of the rod started to vibrate. We knew then the big reds were hassling our max. This bait got absolutely smashed by a solid red, but I was too eager and hit the fish too soon. I was gutted. Here's Darren doing the same. This one is a solid red. There was a lot of weight there, but again, the fish spat the light in. Come on. Starting to get a few fish now. I've lost a couple of goodies. A couple of big ones have come through, smashed our baits. Using liveys, so they're just getting absolutely smashed. This time, Darren let the fish run longer and he was hooked up. It was hard not to strike after about 10 seconds, but we had to let them run longer for a better hookup rate and a better outcome like this nice red of Darren's. It was turning out to be a magic day and our high expectations of big fish had been answered. Fishing liveys definitely kept the mortality rate down as the baits would sit there for 10 to 15 minutes before a solid red would smash it. We caught no undersized fish on the liveys and with them being good size we only needed a few each. This fish here I caught on half a pilly, and although it was a good size, 
been lip hooked. This one went back to fight another day. And here's Darren hooked up again, but this one was a dead bait. Half the yellow dropped straight down on a one hook proper rig. Down to our last mech, Darren's hooked up, lost a couple of goodies um, this morning, Darren lost quite a big one, so hopefully he doesn't lose this one. <laughs> <laughs> With our hot live bait snapper sesh over for the morning, and we were out of live baits, we decided to head over towards the 9 pin for a look around and scope out some more spots for next time. I took Darren into an old haunt I used to get crazy at and next time hopefully we'll have time to jump in and have a look around. Well there you go, it was quite a um good fishing sesh with uh, Darren in his new backyard uh, one thing is it's a bit of a dodgy boat ramp here that he drives makes us drive down so I've got to drive down here in the car with the boat There's a few big potholes and go off the side this side and a bit cracked. But hey, we're in the far north. And that's how it is.